Get my lap, get it, get it back. Don't get no racks. My sister said, boys, you need to relax. I love the smoke and I get it right back. Get it right back. my business, we coming right back. We riding each other. Shit. I'm in VA. I'm in Falls Church. That's all I gotta say. We ain't gonna talk about that. That's just I'm gonna say. I'm from VA. I got a lot of family out here and everything. Whoa. Um, I crank a lot of you know Little Wayne. I was cranking that dude a long time, and I I, I grew up on Gucci. Of course, <coughs> Three Six Mafia, like I said, um, I I do listen to old old you know like N.W.A., Tupac, of course, Biggie and everything. Um, but what really started me was, um, see, I wasn't I'm a, I, I'm different than other people. Like they uh, I was um, I was in like different classes and everything and. Basically, people started judging who I was and how how I brought myself up and everything. Um, so I started writing what I wanted to do to those people. Now, this ain't no shooter type shit, you know what I mean? Uh, I just, you know, people just judge, you know what I mean? The world judges you and everything you do. But I, I, I started writing what I wanted to do and... I just wrote my art. Like I'm bad at drawing. I could tell you everything in music about me. <clears throat> um, one thousand. One thousand is a movement. First of all, like a lot of people keep it one hundred. They say keep it one hundred. Nigga, fuck that. We gonna keep it one thousand. My gang is one thousand. How to be in one thousand? You just have to. It's like a. A hood thing where where my family is and like we all grew up together we've been through a lot and 1000 is this new trend I'm trying to do all through DMV and 1000 is this you gotta be more than 100 bro you gotta do the extra shit to honestly hold down your homies where it's like I've been through a lot when niggas hold me to something when I did before and niggas don't understand, bro, like, I'm a humble dude, but once you cross that line with me, it's just like, you, I lose all type of respect for you, um, 1000 is where I grew up, 1000 is the movement, 1000 is how we at, is this how we at, we, we don't sugarcoat shit, is this 1000, gang. Stop. What about it? <coughs> How would you describe it? What's your favorite? I've, I've, I've always... I went to school with Ben Daniels when I was a kid. Fucking 12, 12 years old going to school with Ben Daniels. People always dress in the house to boat motherfuckers, you know what I mean? And... Well, where, where I grew up in Fall Church, you know, it's a clean side, but a lot of people fucking judge you know I've, a lot of people dress the same and you know my game we we're fucking different like i didn't want to go to no college i didn't want to i didn't want to dress like um a house to boot mountain motherfucker because that's not where i grew up but my style is I, I just keep it all black pants um i'm wearing some fucking jordans you know what i mean that, let's oh. say, into, like, your music? Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just, <clears throat> I gained a lot of weight <clears throat> over the years, and um, I just put what I rock into my music. Like, people rocking Versace. I'm not knocking this style, uh, style but you you ain't never gonna catch me wearing a Gucci bag on me. That's just, I don't like people switching to something and then turning something, like, I understand people coming from the bottom, they they got a shine and they got the money. I'm not knocking that. But to me, in my head, in my mind is just I've I've always been this type of dude where like I'm different. Like like people in my school knew I was different. I'll come to school with bandanas. Um a lot of people just judge, man. And I just stuck to myself. I just 
I rap about what I do. That's all. You know, my <clears throat> I really fucked with Lil Wayne at the time. Uh, the Carter Three was my shit. Um, the dedications, all of them, they were my shit. And like people just hear this shit and really don't understand what he's saying. But at when I was a kid, that dude was like, like he was the best rapper I ever heard. Not in my life, but my generation and. I was listening to Gucci, I was listening to other people, and they just did it. Lil Wayne was different, you know. I don't listen to him to no more, but my success was when I started acting like him, I wanted to sound like him, I wanted to be him, but I stuck to my own. My, my fucking half-brother, um, shout out to Uzi, fucking, you know, he just told me one day, because I, I used to never write, I used to just freestyle my shit. And one day he was just like, bro, you suck. You, you gotta, you gotta write. And so I did that and I did that for like three, two years. And one day I just found this flow where like, I wanted my flow to sound like I'm jumping upstairs and it's just different. And I just found it and me and my homie, shout out to Mally, fucking, um, he brought me my first stool. Like he had uh, just a simple stuff, the interface, the mic, and we started a crew called SCG. Me and him and Uzi, and we fucking wanted uh, to be out out here still. You know what I mean, and my first success was actually him producing our our music. And I just, of all the shit I've been through, I just believe music is my calling. Music is how I function. If there was not music, I don't know where I would be. You like fan story? <laughs> nah, I believe, I don't really have a fan story because I'm not bugging out here, pop popping out here, but I really want to change someone's life. I want to change, like, losing a mom, and my, my real mom was an addict, and my dad used to beat it. <clears throat> and, um, you know, people, the people that took me and my sister in, we, uh, you know, my sister goes to college. I didn't want to take that route. So music is my only way of making it. Like, that's the only thing I, I'm, I believe. And fucking, I, I just, I try to just uh, believe in myself, but it's kind of hard because when losing your mom, that, like, adopted you and took you in, and she died so quick, it it affects me so bad. And so that's where the music, everything I do, wraps around that. I keep motivated. I've, it goes back with this, this last question you asked me. I've, I I can't walk in the house and be like, you know, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to try soccer. I'm going to do this. <clears throat> I'm one of these dudes where it's like, I don't pay attention to my weaknesses and I pay attention more to my strengths. I started playing drums when I, when I was a kid. I switched it to learn how to play guitar. That wasn't my calling. And rapping is just, honestly, is a stay with the beat. And it was just a matter of time where like, I was gonna make it on a flow that I wanted to design. Everyone sounds so different. And I don't like all these rappers out here. They don't sound, what's their message, I mean? And I just, I miss the 90s, man. I miss, I miss our generation, you know what I mean? I miss coming up as a kid. And the only thing that motivates me is I don't see my mom and what I've been through and like what I have to say in music. I mean, I can't draw. I can't fucking draw with the shit, but I can tell you everything about me in music. And that's where everything motivates me. And I've been also riding for seven years, so that also takes a big play in that shit. Gang. My message, honestly, is stand up for what you believe. And, you know, I watched my mother die, and I was going to commit to act. One day I was sitting outside. 
it was uh, probably four days after I heard my mom pass from cancer and watching her die. And I'm, I mean, watching her die. I heard the flat line. I heard, I heard, and that shit. It's I'm traumatized, bro. And my my fucking message is, <clears throat> I'm so blessed what I have. I even got that shit tatted on me, and I wanted to get back to her. I wanted to, I wanted to buy my mom a car. I wanted to buy her a home, just for thanking me. You know what I mean, I grew up in an orphanage, and you know where where I was. It's like. The uh, the people that told my 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 stepmom, I called my stepmom, but <clears throat> she she basically told my stepmom that the people that was watching me and shit, I was the youngest baby in that orphanage, and if no one adopted me, take to to take me in, I had this illness and I was gonna die. I, I got two holes in my heart. I got a messed up liver, so um, it's it's not that bad but it still affects me a little bit. And what keeps me motivated is, I guess, being different than most people. And I don't rap for just to be cool. I've been writing for seven years to work my way up to where I want to be. I mean, I just, I, just, I just do it every single day. So that's what keeps me mo motivated. And I know that 1,000 is going to make it. So, yeah.